video number 39 for cello players. And in this video, we are going to further develop our bowing. Um, if you have not practiced since the last video, when we just bowed and didn't read any music, I need you to practice that before trying to do this video. You need to be pretty proficient at changing strings as well as using the entire bow. And yeah, you're probably still gonna hit two strings a little bit, um, and you, maybe your bow's not perfectly straight. That's completely normal at this point, all right? But if you're, if you're hitting two strings on every single bow stroke right now, you need to practice and get a little bit better before you'll be ready, because you're about to think, make things a little bit more complicated. Let's review a couple things. Remember, with rosining your bow, you don't need to do it every single day. Um, I would say every five to six days, just kind of depends on your bow, the kind of bow that you have and the kind of rosin that you have. And you'll just start to notice when, when the bow starts sounding really, really soft, um, you might try rosining at first. If you're having a hard time getting a big full sound, you might try rosining it. If you are playing and there is literally rosin, puffs of rosin coming off your string, you've got way too much, okay? And that happens sometimes. Um, you'll notice that the rosin does come off on your string and leaves a little bit powdery stuff. When you bow, if a bunch of rosin is down here, you've probably got too much. Make sure you use a cloth to clean that off with, and each time clean the strings. Make sure you clean your strings after each, each time you use your instrument now that we are using our, our bow. Okay, so remember a couple of things. I want you to start a down bow way down here. Let's pretend this is your string. Start your down bow way down here to where you can like touch the string, press in halfway, pull all the way to the tip, keep that weight there. All right, let's echo a little bit. Let's do four open Ds, echo me. So you're down towards the frog the bow, you're halfway between the bridge and the fingerboard, and then pull up slightly towards the fingerboard, just a little closer to the fingerboard. Press in halfway, and echo me, four Ds. <laughs> because you're not watching your music. There's a bunch of rest in there. On the rest, that's a good time to kind of check and make sure you haven't gone crazy and started bowing up here, or you haven't started holding your bow like this or something horrible like that. Make sure your hand hasn't collapsed down. I, I believe I've talked about how that's a very common problem for cello players is your hand collapses down on the bow. That's a good time for that to happen. But above all else, don't get lost in the music, okay? Let's try 47. 47. Okay, on ready for a string. down bow. Press it halfway. One, two, three, four, go. Check your bow hole. Fix if you need to. Three knees again. 
interactive and you can still play along with the background music all right but just change change the tempo and slow it down all right because it is going to be probably more fun to practice these we're back to just playing open D's and A's probably more fun to practice these with that background music and it'll also help keep you in time the other option is to use of course the metronome and just slow it down go on to the next one 48 48 this is open A. Remember on the open A, we're going to use a little bit lighter bow. Bow on the A still string. use the full bow. Okay, you're starting down at the frog. Check your bow hold. And then when you do the repeat, you're going to raise your arm. So these are all done at the frog. So these are the easy kind of bow changes. You don't have to move your arm too terribly much. Okay, let's try 49. Starting on the A string. Well, here we go. 49. Starting on the A string. Raise and lower. And four A's. <laughs> Just the D string, press and go. Repeat, back the A string, lighten the weight on the bow. Switch to the D string, now add a little bit of weight and go. Press, check your bow hold. Make sure it's still good, okay? With any one of these, you should probably do them twice. I'm just doing this to make sure the video doesn't get too terribly long. Going on to 50. Now in 50, you only have two counts of rest in which to switch strings. So you're going to have to be switching a little bit more quickly now. Remember 50. Check the bowl. Hold. Do that down 50. the frog. Teeter press it halfway. Two A's go. Now go to the D string. And back to the A string. told you to start, I said to put your bow on the D string. Clearly the first note's an A. You should have started on the A string. I apologize for that. Now go on to 51. Now this one you only have one count of rest to get to the other string. And this one, you've just done a down bow at the end of measure one. So it is going to be, you've got to move pretty quick and you've got to move from here to here. All right? Keep that bow straight. If you're getting a crunchy sound, <laughs> You are doing one of two things. You're either pressing in too hard, or you probably saw what I did that time. I didn't use my whole bow. I just used the exact same amount of weight, but I used the full bow. Okay? Now here's one where I'm pressing in too hard, but I'm using the whole, but I am using the whole bow. Hear that sound? That's kind of terrible, right? I'm using the whole bow, so what do I need to do? I need to lighten up. And if you get an airy sound, not enough weight. And if it's kind of skating around, it might be because you're not pressing in hard enough. All right, so check all of those things out. All right, let's try 51 now. This one is starting on the A string. So have your bow ready on the A string. 51, mirror image. I'm going to use your full bow and three A's. <laughs> Quick switch. Quick switch again. Quick switch. Okay? Now, in the next video, we're going to learn something called.
called the bow list, but before we do that, again, you need to be really proficient at just playing 47 through 51, and ideally not hitting two strings very much, okay? Give yourself about a week to where you can get, we're gonna be playing, you should play these every day for about a week so that you can get to that point where you can use the whole bow, you have a straight bow, you're in between the bridge and the fingerboard, you have a good bow hold, and you've got the right amount of weight, and you're using the full bow. And that's just with open strings. That's how much you gotta think about just with open strings. So before we can move on to playing and putting fingers down, we gotta get it right while it's still easy. It's not really easy, is it? It's a lot harder than you would think with bowing. But my experience is students that practice daily for a week and really concentrate with using the, on all of those things, just on open strings, by the end of that week, they've gotten a pretty good sound, all right? Let me know if you have any questions about why do I sound like this? What's going on? What's wrong? Contact me and I can, and I can help you with that.